All right, y'all, Build Show today. We're up in Dallas visiting the Build Show Live VIP ticket holder show house. That's a mouthful. This is a builder up here who's been around a long time but has never done a Monopoly framed house. So you see this house has no overhangs. We're about to show you something that frankly I've never seen before. We're doing Monopoly framing, but we're gonna be doing a full continuous exterior closed cell spray foam with a really neat innovation called the X bracket from InsoFast. So with that being said, today's build show from the VIP show house for Build Show Live on some really cool framing. Well, let's get going. Okay, y'all, we're up on the second story and here's what you're about to see on this video. That blue thing you see right there that's kind of a pedestal, that's called an X bracket from InsoFast. And the builder here is taking that as the base to form an overhang on this Monopoly framed roof. That is pretty cool. Now this is a mock-up, we're not there yet, but here's the team that I want to introduce you to. Peter Scott, second generation builder and owner of J.M. Scott and Sons Jim Builders. Jim Scott and Sons. Jim Scott and Sons. Ed, you've seen before, he's the inventor and owner at InsoFast. And Kyle's our builder on site, our superintendent, right Kyle? Yes. All right, so Ed, let me start with you first off. Monopoly framing, we've seen it on the build show before. Uh, the guys here did a great job. We got no overhang, nothing that stops that transition to be air sealed and taped at the face of the zip. And obviously we're still under construction here. We still have a little bit ways to go there. But then Ed, walk me through this bracket. What is going on here? So the, the bracket is just a spacer that holds a furring strip out three and a quarter or whatever distance. We have a number of different sizes from the wall so it can go on the walls as well as in this case point on the walls and then as well as the roof okay uh there too so you have a continuous monolithic layer of i like to call it fluid applied wrb spray yeah. foam where it's multiple layers that really is kind of bulletproof when it comes to additional insulation and uh water so control. we're using standard zip on this job and we're, we're still in process so it's not fully taped yet. It okay. will be fully taped. And then we're gonna use spray foam on the outside of the zip, right Ed? Correct. And we're gonna, we're gonna show you the downstairs mock-up in a minute but it's gonna happen on the walls. And then walk me through what's happening with your brackets in the roof. So the brackets are just spaced out and fastened right directly to the trusses. So the typical spacing is four foot on center. Okay. For there going up along there and then the furring strip goes on on top of there. So it's just creating an air, when you get three inches of spray foam, you still have an air space underneath the furring strip. So you got cross ventilation throughout everything. So where you have the valley uh, there, it's already ventilated, so it eliminates the need to have to put furring strips on gotcha. diagonally for the. And so, Peter, this is just a mock-up. We're not we're not That's there right. yet, we're but still experimenting. But eventually, you're going to put another layer of zip system sheathing on top. That's correct. But before that, you'll have a spray foam contractor that will come. And what are the rough dimensions of that? What would that look like? So we're going to try to get anywhere between two to three inches of close cell spray foam. We'll completely cover the bracket itself. Okay. And then we'll dip lower in to get somewhere around two to three inches of close cell. And then for the roof, we're going to get excess of four inches of ventilation. Airflow. And then, and then on the walls, we'll get two to three inches as well. Fantastic. So then we'll have a soft, some type of soffit vent system. That's right. A ridge vent. Exactly. And underneath the zip system sheathing, you're going to have this closed cell. You're gonna have a really tight air barrier because you've got both the zip and closed cell foam. Exactly. And it's also gonna be continuous from the wall all the way to the roof and then all the way to the top, right? Exactly. Man, that's a killer We're system. About it. And I think it's obvious for the people watching, but these are on 24 inch on centers for a reason because that's what his hand cut roof is if I look inside. So these roof rafters are on 24 inch on centers. And then talk to me, Ed, about both attachment of those X brackets, attachment of the two by fours, and what kind of load values are we getting here? So the brackets themselves, uh, you can nail them on with a nail gun. Mm -hmm. And 
you don't get quite as much loading. You'll get about 150 pounds of loading if you put four 16 penny nails in there, where you get over 300 pounds of loading with two construction screws going into the into the stud there. So how? Uh, and Means that that's that's negative wind loading. That's allowable negative wind loading. Gotcha. Is what those numbers are. And so then the report. and then the two by four that attaches that doesn't have to structurally go then into the uh, actually I think I can see a screw. Oh, here we go. You can see that screw. It's a little hard to tell, but there's a screw right there that's just going from the two by into the bracket and all the way down into the rafter, right? Yeah, it's similar to the way they do pole barn construction, mm. really, and they're just doing the, the screw long screws instead. Now, the real neat thing is the framers and the contract isn't doing any of the insulating at all. Right. So it's a hot day right. to day, right. and we're not doing bundles of insulation or right. anything. We can either. wait till it's cool and then bring the spray yeah, foam contractor right. in. And it's one one contractor to do all the insulating, air sealing, weather resistant barrier, kind of sound barrier as well. Yeah, and, yeah. and again, I said this, this is a mock-up. These tails are going willy-nilly. Eventually, we'll run a string line across those. And I think you mentioned, uh, Peter, we got like an, a, a total of maybe an 18 inch overhang That's here. Right. That's right. So we'll string line that, we'll straight line it. Then we'll get a two by, sub uh, fascia that will go on there and that will allow us to have a nice connection between all those quote unquote rafters they're not really they're, they're kind of fakes right because they're above the roof deck which gives us a ton of benefits and then we could then at this point have either a sloped soffit or we could form a flat soffit we want i think this house has a sloped soffit does. right yep so and then eventually we got some stucco happening back here um, this is a mock-up we're having quite we're just working out the details so this video is intended to encourage you to think about mock-ups and and maybe use this x bracket somewhere that you haven't before but if you want to come see this house build show live which is happening in about two months october 16th there's a vip tour if you buy the vip pass of this job under construction and we're going to leave a section of this open so you can come see it but we'll be a little further on uh, and construction. This is really, really cool. But I want to switch gears now and go show you the wall assembly mock-up downstairs. So boys, let's let's head down and show these guys the wall. We'll see you downstairs. All right, y'all. So now let's talk about the wall. <laughs> this is a cool mock-up, guys. Ed, talk me through this. What are we looking at here? So what you're looking at is the X brackets fastened to the framing, typically four foot on center. And, and these are and these are just nailed, right? These are just nailed. Okay, so this is there. a pneumatic nail gun potentially. Right. It's set up with a high impact plastic for that. So and it's nailed into the studs though, obviously. Correct. And then the furring is fastened to the face. And the furring is screwed though in this case, because I'm seeing the screw here. Correct. And then this furring uh, is eventually gonna take what final uh, surface, Peter? So we're gonna go with, on this project, it's gonna be a mixture of stucco and siding. Okay. Siding to be determined, but the stucco is gonna be applied, we're gonna, once again, the zip system's gonna go back on again. Ah, on so we're gonna strips. zip this again, gotcha. It'll get taped, both, both layers will get taped, and then we'll apply the stucco process to the zip. Gotcha. And then same with this, Ed, where after your brackets are on, we've got how much distance here and how much spray foam are we talking about? So three and three quarters is what it is. Okay. And what they're going to do is do two to two to three inches of spray foam on there on the majority of the surface and around each one of these brackets, they hump it up. Got so it. it seals up to the back of there, but you still have the cross flow ventilation throughout. So when it comes to your windows and everything, you're not having to do additional venting or anything. And what's the spacing that I'm seeing from this bottom bracket to this top bracket? So that's that's still four foot on center. Okay, four and foot on just, center. I mean, near the window they put in, put in more, you just do them as need, and then the maximum four foot on center. So let's talk about the window now. I really like seeing that sloped sill. This is gonna get stucco, so this will look like a really nice recess a deep jam yeah deep that jam that's gonna look detail. beautiful what, what are the pipes that i'm seeing here ed i see these plastic pipes kind of sticking out here underneath this window what am i seeing there yeah so what what you're seeing is is this uh we drain for it and the way this is put in the windows put in if this is your window here 
you put this in about an inch and a half below your rough opening, the window pan flashing wraps into there. Okay. And then this, this is actually oh, zip drainage right mat. There. You can see yeah. the edge of it there. So what happens is if anything backs up on the cell and gets around and breaches, it goes through the drain and then it's drained out into the rain so screen. So this zip uh, rain screen product is meant just to keep spray foam out of the pan. Correct. And then any water that weeps through there is gonna come out to this tube, which will, this tube will be kind of fastened here just behind the air gap. So it'll drain and dry out. Correct, I'll just put a piece of tape over that to hold it. That in makes place. a lot of sense. And then on the face of the zip system, you're gonna use the rain screen here too. Exactly. So that stucco has some weep and Precisely. drain ability. So it's kind of fun because you'll have full system sheathing here, zip, with a drainage plane behind it. That's right. And then behind it, if anything were to get wet, this will also have a couple of two inches of draining and drying back there. That's right, it won't seem much, but. But anything it does will come out. And again, this is a mock-up. We're too tight on the, on the um, uh, kind of brick ledge here, which is not really a brick ledge. It's a, it's a uh, vent ledge, I guess, for well, lack of well, a better term. To, to be honest, I mean, just getting into the story of this house, um, we were gonna actually have a brick oh, uh, you were. veneer. Oh, wow. And so when we started talking about doing this detail, we jumped into a stucco application. So we really don't need the brick ledge. Yeah, I guess that's right. But it was intended um, worked out great. for original design. So. Yeah, it worked out great. And then we still have some flashing and we're gonna do some liquid flash at the base. Now, as I walk down this way, guys, I wanted to ask you about, on this face, I'm seeing this larger member head on the corner two by eight, let's say, where I've got two by fours here. What am I seeing there? Well, that's uh, so the, so they can put the sheathing on and get backing for the zip sheathing at the corner. And they wanted to keep it open so you could put the spray foam in there. So they just put it on one side and then with this, they can come by with the zip. Gotcha. And, uh, and put the corner. Otherwise, I mean, there are other details for the typical uh, corner where you'll use a two by six on each side and then they're spaced apart and then you can put a corner board got it on that as well so very cool a... so Peter we've got 60 days or so we're till uh, till build show live we're getting close what's the rough idea of where we'll be at when build show live comes in 60 so days? we'll probably be what we'd like to be is we'd like to have the majority of the exterior cladding complete um, we're in M MVP stage right now and we're probably gonna stop at MEP. That's awesome. So we'll get a little bit of time. get to uh, see all the internal MEPs. Because that's really the intent. And then we'll have some wall sections that yep. you can see ex the exterior application in person. Love it. Um, so it's really gonna be like a mock, but it's a real live house yeah. and you'll get to walk through the whole thing. And we'll leave a section uh, open so you can see that spray foam, what that looks like with the layers, the X bracket still and how that uh, looks. So come to Build Show Live October 16th through the 18th. Meet Peter. Ed, are you gonna be here too for Build Show Live? I will be here. Look at that, I just convinced him to come as well. So <laughs> hopefully we'll see you guys for Build Show Live. In the meantime, I'll put a link to Peter's company, fabulous second generation local Dallas builder. These guys are awesome. And go check out our podcast that Peter and I did too to kind of hear his background and his story. In the meantime, we better let Kyle get back to work. He's got a lot to do in the next 60 it days. So, and it's hot. It is hot. That's why I wore my cowboy hat, so I didn't get any sun. Guys, thanks for joining us on a quick build show at the Build Show Live House. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Build Show.